So welcome to Top Tip Thursday. My name is David Thompson and um, my tip is very, very simple. In fact, it might even seem obvious, but um, let me explain. So um, we often think of ourselves as teachers. We introduce ourselves by saying, I am a teacher. 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 And that's true. We teach. But of course, teaching is not an end in itself. We do teaching in order to achieve student learning. And my tip is quite simply that we think much more in terms of learning and how to achieve learning and much less in terms of teaching. So we run our bachelor programs for the purpose of cultivating a generation of graduates who have competence in the discipline, who have research skills, who are information literate, who can reason quantitatively, who can think critically, and who can communicate. So we can teach students about these things, but for example, having knowledge about your discipline is not the same as being competent in your discipline. We can teach students about research skills, we can explain the principles of research to them, but being knowledgeable about research is not the same as having those investigative skills. So as well as the teaching, as well as the explanations, we need to create these um, well thought through active learning experiences where we mentor students through their own investigative research projects. Similarly with information literacy, we can explain the principles of information literacy, we can demonstrate information literacy techniques, but we need to have these active learning experiences where students are searching for their own information, trying to find the information that they need to work on certain problems and achieving their own information literacy. With quantitative reasoning, we can explain the principles of quantitative reasoning, we can demonstrate quantitative reasoning, we can work through problems in a quantitative way, but we also need to create these active learning experiences where students themselves are working through quantitative problems and using their own quantitative reasonings. We can teach students about critical thinking, but the key thing is to create inspirational pedagogies which get them thinking critically themselves. We can teach students about communication, but we need to get these students communicating, using their language skills, using their powers of expression, um, in order to cultivate these uh, communication skills. So throughout all of this, the, the focus is not on our teaching, the focus is on student learning. We can think about what we do in the classroom as teachers, but the key thing is to think about what students do in the classroom as learners, and about how we can create experiences which are actually effective in helping the students to learn. As teachers, we're not here to teach. Universities don't exist as places where teachers teach, they exist as places where students learn. Yes, I'm a teacher, but above all, I'm responsible for ensuring that students learn. I'm a teacher and my job is to help students learn. I am a teacher. I need to see that students learn. I am a teacher. I am here to ensure student learning. I am a teacher. My job is to enhance student learning. So that's my top tip. Thank you for watching Top Tip Thursday. Top Tip Thursday will be back again next week, same time, same place. Thank you very much.